Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I'm going to be showing you a four part tutorial and in this four parts we're going to be creating an episode just like the Game Grumps do. If you don't know what the Game Grumps are, it's Dan and Aaron and they are two dudes who basically sit on the couch and play some video games and laugh and joke and have a good time. They have a really nice setup with really nice microphones and videos capturing and they just put together a really good show and the episodes usually last around 10 to 15 minutes long. There's a little bit that goes into making one of those episodes because they put out some very high quality stuff that you actually have to invest a little bit of money into getting some equipment like theirs. You don't need the insane quality of hardware that they have because they have movie quality microphones that cost about 1500 bucks each positioned all around them. You don't need that at all. You will need one or two mics to at least make it sound good if you're playing with somebody else. But in this first part, I'm going to be showing you how to record old game consoles, all the retro games that don't have HDMI inputs. So how do you record something like that and make it look good still? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing you're going to need is a capture card. Now, if you don't know what a capture card is, basically it takes an input and records it and then filters it through an output onto a TV or a monitor or something like that. I myself have an Elgato gaming capture card. It records in 1080p, 60 frames a second maximum, and all the way down to standard resolution. They come in different types, but this one specifically attaches to my motherboard. There's other ones that are USB attached to. Next thing you're going to want is something like this. This is an HDMI to RCA converter. What it does is it takes the input of old consoles and then outputs it to either 1080p or 720p to HDMI. So this HDMI part can go into the capture card and you'll be able to record them with your capture card. When it's all said and done, it'll look something like this. RCA goes to the input, converts it to HDMI, and that goes to the capture card. So next thing is, this part's going to be a little bit different for everybody if you have a different type of capture card. But if you have the Game Capture HD 60 Pro like I do from Elgato, it comes with its own software. Now it kind of looks like this, and I'm not going to go into too much detail about how to set it up. I can do that in another video later, but right now I'm just going to show you how to capture it. So let's just assume you have everything set up correctly, and everything's plugged in. The software will recognize your capture card up here in the top right, and then it will recognize what setting you have it in. And then we want to turn on the game console. And then there you go. You are streaming your old console all the way through a converter to HDMI and it's being picked up by your capture card. And from here you can just hit record and record whatever you want old console style. And that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video of how to capture your old game console footage. I'll link in the description of the details of all the hardware I use and where to get it. So if you don't have something like this but you want to record your old stuff, then you can. Stay tuned for episode 2 on how to capture your audio. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If that helped you out at all or if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.